Um, it's time for your lessons on the full armor of God. As of this taping, this videoing, me recording this, I don't have them numbered. Um, because I didn't know which way you should do them. I, it, I don't know that it really matters one way or the other. Um, so I think we are just going to start with... We're going to start the, with the one with the most words, and it ends up on the back. Um, this is the directions, the directions of Ephesians 6, 10 through 8. And, and so it's written, basically it, it's 6 through 8, 18, I mean, 6 through 18, written in short form, giving you the bare bones of what you need. So if you start reading it, it's be strong in the, who are you going to be strong in? the Lord. And so it's capital L, little O, little R, little D. Now that could be Jesus Christ, the Lord, or it could be, um, God, the Lord. It, they're, um, not giving us the name for Yahweh, which would be the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, or Jehovah, um, is what that, um, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D would mean. So this could be, um, it could be God the Father, the Holy Spirit, it could be Jesus. So, but stand firm in the Lord. So it's, um, it's not, it's not the proper name for, Je it's not the name Jehovah or Yahweh, which is what the name would mean. Um, it's, that's the name that they don't even say. They just say the name or they'll say Adonai, um, which is written in all caps. And then here, in this um, use of it, it's the capital L, little O, little R, little D. So, um, be strong in the Lord and in His. Now, Nana always writes it capital H-I-S. Um, just because it's God. Um, and sometimes, if it's talking about capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Lord... Yahweh, Jehovah, um, I will write it capital H, capital I, capital S. I don't think anyone is going to have any issue with you how you write it. Um, in the in the Bible, in the text, it's lowercase letters all the way through. I'm just telling you what Anna does. So, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. That's number one. That's your first direction. Two. Put on the, and of course you've got three blanks, full armor, and I wrote of God. So full, F-U-L-L, -L, because you don't want just part of it, you want it all. And then you get it all when you get Jesus. So put it on. Take it up. Put it on. Full, F-U-L-L -L is your first blank. Second blank is armor, A-R-M-O-R, a r M O R and then of God capital G O D okay number three take your stand <laughs> I didn't make a cheat sheet for myself take your stand S T A N D is your first blank for number three stand S T A N D take your stand Stand your ground is your second blank for number three. S-T-A-N-D. Again, stand is your first and your second blank for number three. And after you have done everything to stand, do you get the idea that they want us to stand and not run? Stand is your third blank for number three. So all three blanks on three are stand. S-T-A-N-D. S T A N D. Number four starts with stand firm. In other words, don't run away. Stand firm with the belt. B E L T. Your first blank for four is belt. B E L T. Belt of truth. T R U T H. T-R-U-T-H. And again, um, 
you could put capitals on all these and I don't think, or you could put them in lowercase and I don't think anyone's going to fuss with you about it at all. I don't think they are because you can make the case that it's a proper noun. It's God. You're talking about, um, part of the armor of God. Why would you, why should I not lowercase it? You know, why should I not put a capital on it? You know, it's, okay. That's not our lesson, is it? No, it is not. It's the armor of God. That's our lesson. Okay, the breast, I have said this so many times, the breastplate of righteousness is just your third blank for number four is righteousness. R-I-G-H-T E O U S righteousness. I spelt it wrong. I left out my I, I think I just spelt righteous. It's righteousness. R I G H T E O U S N E S S. One more time because of the Nanana debacle. R I G H T E O U S N E S, S. I hope you don't ever get aggravated with Nana and go, Ma! <laughs> if you do, it's okay. I would understand. <laughs> okay. In place. Remember, we talked about putting it in place. Place is your fourth blank for number four. Place. P L A C E. P L A C E. Place. So stand firm with the belt of righteousness. Nope. Nope, 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 no, Nana. The belt of truth buckled around your waist and the breastplate of righteousness in place and your shoes fitted with the shoes. Your second to last blank for four is shoes. S-H-O-E-S. S-H-O-E-S. Shoes of peace is your last blank for four. Peace. P-E-A-C-E. -E. Peace. P-E-A-C-E. -E. And remember, it's the peace that comes from the gospel. It is the peace that comes from the good news of Jesus Christ. That's the peace. Because he's our peace. Okay, number five. Your fifth direction. In addition to all of this, take up the shield a faith. Shield is your first blank for five. S-H-I-E-L-D. S-H-I-E-L-D. Shield. And then faith is F-A-I-T-H. Your last blank for five is faith. F-A-I-T-H. Faith. Six. Take the helmet of salvation. Take it. Don't just let it sit there. Take it and put it on. Salvation. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. Salvation. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. And if you capitalize it or if you don't, again, in this instance, I think you're okay. Um, I've seen some manuscripts, some texts that have salvation capitalized every single time and some... It's hit or miss. It doesn't really, I, I can't figure out. I can't decode the pattern there. So, maybe your mother knows because she's so smart like that. But, I would say either way you're probably okay. Now, if you want to talk about the salvation of Jesus Christ, I would capitalize that baby. Okay. So, oh, sorry, I kicked the stain. Oh, I kicked it again with the other foot. <laughs> okay. So sorry. Man, I just went crazy. I know some would say, all right, I, you, I've been crazy. I didn't just go. It's okay. Okay. And the sword of the spirit. Now, since we're talking about the Holy Spirit, we do want to capitalize spirit here. So it's capital S. P. I. R. I. T. Spirit. S. Capital S. P. I. R. I. T. I was checking what I did on your sheet to see if I make sure I capitalized it and I capitalized spirit and I capitalized salvation. So, um, okay. Which is the word of God, the sword of the spirit 
is the word of God. Number seven, pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. I didn't give you any blanks to fill in on seven, eight, or nine. Eight, be alert. And of course, okay, there, bless my heart. I try really hard to be classy, but your Nana just loves a t-shirt with a saying. I just do. And it started way back in elementary school. I was probably Bella's age, if not younger. Yeah, because I, I was six when I started school, so it couldn't have been any younger than that. But there was this kid who had a t-shirt. And I have wanted this t-shirt ever since I was in grade school. And it said, be alert. The world needs more alerts. And I have said that to your mother. I don't know how many times. I don't remember saying it to the boys as much. But I said it to Jenny so many times. Be alert. The world could use more alerts. So, yeah. Be alert. That's a direction from the word. Be alert. Alright. An eight or nine, I mean. Nine. All And always keep praying for all the saints. And who's the saints? That'd be everybody in Jesus. Kind of crazy that Nana's a saint, isn't it? Saint Nana. <laughs> That's an oxymoron. But anyway, I love you. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And I will see you for the next one. I love you. Bye.